All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Firefox browser along with Puppeter for your automation project. So there are two ways to use the Firefox browser. So when you're using Puppeter.launch in the launch option, you can specify which browser you are using and using the npm install. If you pass this command Puppeter product Firefox npm i Puppeter, this will install the Firefox browser first and then you can automate your scripts. However, we are not going, going to follow this approach. We are going to programmatically download the Firefox browser, nightly build and fetch the executable and automate our script. So let's go back to the code editor. So here are list of steps that I have created. So first we are going to create the browser fetcher instance. Then we are going to download the browser, open the Firefox browser, create a new page, open the target page, capture screenshot and close the browser. So what is browser fetcher? So let's go back to the docs again. And if we search for browser fetcher, here you can see browser fetcher can download and manage different version of Chromium and Firefox. In Firefox case, browser fetcher download Firefox ITM and operate on version number such as 75. So what we are going to do, we are going to copy this. And in this, let me walk through you this. Uh, so first we are creating a browser fetcher instance. Next, we need to provide the revision info. So we need to move it to download browser and next we are creating a browser instance. So in the create browser fetcher, we need to specify which product we need to fetch. So we are going to say product and the product is Firefox. Next, we can also provide the path where we want to store the downloaded browser. So I'm going to say let's download in the root browser directory. Next, coming to the browser fetcher dot download method. Here we need to provide the revision of the Firefox nightly build. And if we look at the Firefox blog here, uh, they have launched the nightly build that is having version 87.0a1. So we can copy this. And in this, as a first argument, we need to pass the version. And second is the callback. And callback gives us two arguments. So first is downloaded. And second is total number of bytes that is it is going to download. So this is helpful if we want to see the progress, how much download has been done. So we will say console.log downloaded dollar downloaded of total bytes. So when the puppeter is downloading this, it will show you how many number of bytes it has been downloaded. So next is the puppeter launch option. Now in this we need to specify the executable path. So executable path as you can see it is getting from the revision info. And in the launch option we need to specify that we are going to use the Firefox browser. So we will specify product Firefox. All right. So these steps are going to download the browser, launch the puppeter with Firefox browser. Next, we need to create a new page. So we will say const page equal to await browser dot new page. And we are going to set the viewport as well. So we will say await page dot set viewport. And in the viewport, we need to specify the width and height. So for the width, I am going to say 1920. And for the height, I'm going to say 1080. So once we have the viewport set, we can open the target page. We are going to type await page dot go to https tutorial dot tips. And once we have done that, what we need to do, we need to capture the screenshot. So we are going to say await page dot screenshot. And in this screenshot, we need to provide the path. So we will say path equal to capture dot png. Once all these steps are done, what we can do, we can close the browser. We can say await browser dot close. So let's see this in action. Save our file, open the terminal and type node index dot js. So before I press enter, I want to show you the explorer window. As you can see, there is no browser folder that exists. So once I press enter, you will see this folder will be automatically created. And inside this folder, you will see the executable file is being downloaded by the browser fetcher api i hope this finished quickly it totally depends on your internet speed so it should complete very fast so now it's uh, already downloaded and you can see it is extracting the contents of the binary file so once the extraction is complete you will see it will launch the browser create new page and set the viewport of the browser and go to the targeted website so once that is done, it will capture the screenshot and save it in the root. So as you can see, we are on the prompt again. There is a capture.png now where you can see screenshot of the website. Now if you run this second time and in the launch option, you say headless false. This will open the physical browser and now second time the download won't happen again. So it will use the previous binary that exists in the browser folder. 
Now if I type node index.js, that's on my other screen. So let's pull it here. As you can see, it opened the targeted page and captured the screenshot again. And that is how guys, you can automatically download the Firefox nightly build and automate the scripts on Firefox browser. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications so you get the latest updates whenever I post a new video. See you in the next one.